Hello Toots, welcome to TechTut.com. So this lecture is most important lecture of ER Diagram lecture series. Okay. In this lecture what we understand is how we can convert the logical schema from conceptual schema. Or in precise we can say in this lecture we will understand how we will convert the I mean how we will create the different different relational tables from our ER diagram okay so previous gate questions has been also asked on this topic and this is the most important topic to understand so I'll make sure at the end of this lecture and after following an example from the example section you will be able to identify the number of tables okay okay so let's start well so I have noted down the different different elements of entity relationship diagram so first one is entity when we say entity it means I'm talking about the strong entity okay so strong entity we have to store it in, it in different table okay so separate table for strong entity okay for each strong entity we need to create a table right for weak entity now in this case also for weak entity also we need to create a separate table because for example I'll be giving you some examples here if you have dependent okay so in database you will have to store all dependent like a uh, name name and then DOB and then maybe gender okay and you also have to store the key of identifying entity okay or the key of the strong entity is associated with the weak entity with through the identifying relationship so this will be ID of strong entity okay so likewise you have to create a table where Ram and something like 10th Jan and this is male again Ram 10th male and something like this where the two weak entity attributes can be same but this ID will be different like this will be some employee ID E2 and this will be E7 okay fine so you have to create a separate table for weak entity now attributes for attributes multi-valued attribute okay if there is this is a normal attribute you need not to bother about it it will be stored in each entity type table okay we are already creating a table for each entity but if it is multi-valued attribute in this case multi-valued means for example phone number okay so in this case you cannot store it in the entity type itself okay entity table itself so you have to take a separate table for it just for example you can take how do we create it like we create a phone number table number table and what we do is we associate the number okay and here ID maybe employee ID okay so like this okay and we E1 has some number E2 has some some number E1 may have some different number okay like this and the candidate key or the key will be the combination of this okay in this case the key will be the combination of EID and number so using this EID okay and number you can uniquely identify records but how do we proceed for finding out generally in applications is you need to find out the contact detail of a person so using the EID you just find out how many records are there for employee ID E1 and some same way we proceed okay so again for composite attribute okay composite attribute if you consider it is very similar to entity type itself entity has multiple attributes similarly composite attributes also have sub sub attributes okay sub parts so this this composite attributes also needs a separate table okay 
Now, this is most important part of this lecture, relationship. Okay, so I have discussed it little, little bit earlier also. In this lecture, we will clarify. So, if the relationship is 1-1, one, 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 in this case, we need not to create any separate table. No separate table. Okay, no separate table. And we have already studied if relationship has some attribute like in case of department and HOD there was starting date which was the attribute of relational relationship. So in that case the attribute of relationship can be moved to any of the side. Okay. Now this is another one which is one many. In this case do we need a table? Yes. No. No separate table. If you have followed previous lectures, we have seen like for many one cases, what do we do? We move the attribute of relationship type to n side or many side. Okay. So in this case also we don't need a separate table. For illustration, you can take a illustration like this. For example, okay, a student, student and department. Okay. So student can participate in relationship with only one department but student can be multiple. Okay. So how do you create this relationship? How do you identify the uh, specify this relationship in in form of tables? So what do you do? In the student table st itself with other information you keep one record which is department because with one student only one department can be associated okay it is clear from the relationship so we keep department id as a record as a attribute in the table itself student table itself where we specify like student s1 is from cse student s2 is from ec and so on okay so likewise we identify the specify the relationship okay so we need not to create a separate table for one many. Now the case is many many. This is different. Yes, we need a separate table. Okay. How? For example, if you have, we will take take the previous example. If we have student and subject. Okay. And there is a relationship between them. Student studies subject. So how do we specify it in form of table? Because the relationship is many many. Okay. So we create a relationship table, separate table that is studies, studies table. Okay. This is basically relationship type. And what do we do? We keep the association between each IDs like student ID. There will be a key of student entity like ID, SID and then sub id okay and keep the association like student s1 s1 take subject b1 take it dbms okay student s2 take subject uh, like uh, compiler student s1 take subject compiler and so on Okay, so likewise we specify the relationship in case of many many. What will be the key attribute in this case? The key will be the combination of both the things. Okay, and if you have to specify like if you have some attributes associated with this relationship then what do we do? We create another column with this like grade. Okay, so we can specify here like student S1 has got some grade A in DBMS. Student S2 has got D grade in compiler, student S1 has got B grade in compiler and so on. Okay, because we have unique combination of these two attributes. We have unique combination of these two attributes. We can specify the grades with this. Okay. Well, so each student will have a subject and for that subject we can specify the grade. Okay. So likewise we specify the relationship and the attribute of relationship with the help of tables. Once you go through the example, 
uh, I'll be creating some examples. Go through the examples. I hope you will be able to attempt all the questions in this section. So I hope you understand everything. If you have any doubt, go to the doubt section and ask the ask your doubts. Make sure that the same doubt has not been asked already. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.